Okay, I'm going to show you how to remove this grip here so that we have access to the components underneath. We have the micro shift and the brake lever clamp here. And I'm going to show you how to take it all off and how to put it back on. First thing you're going to do is see the top of the grip here. You can see that little hole. You're going to take a long, skinny screwdriver. I use a flathead, but anything will work. Get in there and then find the top of the pole right there. Lift it over and bring it down. Now be careful not to appreciate that. Thank you so much for calling. Cut or penetrate the rubber of your grip. Get this all the way down like that. And what we're gonna do is put a little bit of lubricant in here to get this grip off. You could do WD 40, you could do soapy water. I'm gonna use hand sanitizer because that's what we have here. So uh, come closer. You're basically going to see that I bring the rubber over, yeah. insert the hand sanitizer on the edge here so that it flows on the outside of the pole, on the inside of the grip, and allows easy access there. Cool. Pull this out. Easy does it. All right. Now... You will notice right on the back side of our shifter, right here, there's a three millimeter screw that clamps that onto the pole. Loosen that up. Take this off like that. And then finally, to get access to this brake lever clamp here, we're going to disconnect the cable in the housing. So, let's see here. Line up the barrel adjuster and this jam nut so that all the slots are together or lining up. And then you'll take the, back up a little bit, you'll take the cable down like that. Like this, and you're going to remove the barrel out of the hanger like this. Now I'll take our five, and you'll see right here that the clamping screw is located right on the inside of the brake lever. Take your five millimeter Allen wrench. Loosen that up. And you have this off. Right, if you need to replace this, if this piece is cracked, if this brake lever is cracked, you don't need to do any of this. That's a totally separate replacement. It's a different video. But for this purposes, if you need to replace this piece, this is how you do it. Now to put it back on, we're gonna go ahead and set this up. And we're just going to leave it here. We're just going to leave it loose. We're just going to leave it like that. Then we're going to take our shifter cable, or the shifter itself, actually. And we're going to leave that loose as well. It's important to leave those loose because when we get the grip back on top, you want to know exactly. It's a little gap right there. We're going to push the shifter up so it closes that gap. Then we're going to push this up. Now, one thing you want to make sure, try to see if you can get this. You want your brake lever facing forward, right? You don't want it inside. You don't want it outside, backwards. You want it facing forward like this. Now, what I do is I hold it there with one hand, tighten it up on the backside here at the proper angle. Straightforward. Cool. You get your three. Tighten up the shifter. Now I'm tightening it up in a position so that the window is facing you while you're riding, so you can observe that. Lastly, come back over to the front. Take the head of the barrel, or the, 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 the barrel head of the cable, put it in the hanger like that, see? I'm gonna bring this down. Now you might need to give it some force. Come on. Get it like that. And then just adjust your barrel adjusters to take out the slack. Everything's good to go. You did it, good job.